I'm Taron Marlar, and this is a Weird Darkness Bonus Bite. From OddityCentral.com Woman Steals Phone By Chewing Through Store's Anti-Theft Cord Unable to fight the desire for a phone she could not afford to buy, a Chinese woman ended up stealing a new iPhone by ripping through the anti-theft cord with her teeth at an Apple store. The woman, surnamed Kui, became the talk of the internet in China earlier this month after security cameras at an Apple store in Fuzhou City, China's Fujian province, caught her stealing an iPhone in a rather unusual way. Footage has since gone viral online, showing the woman entering an electronics store and heading straight for the smartphone section, where she proceeds to inspect the device on display. She can be seen glancing around furtively to see if anybody else is around before grabbing an iPhone and starting to chew on the anti-theft cord securing the device to the display stand. If you've ever messed around with an anti-theft cord on a display phone, you've probably accidentally triggered an annoying loud alarm. As you can imagine, ripping through the cord with your teeth has a similar effect. However, in this case, she was lucky the staff simply was ignoring the sound, thinking it was just a false alarm, and they shut it off, allowing the woman to simply walk out with the stolen handheld phone. Unfortunately for the woman, she ended up biting off more than she could chew, as the staff noticed the missing phone soon after she left and notified the police. China's facial recognition technology is notoriously efficient, and authorities managed to not only identify the woman in record time, but also place her in custody just minutes after she got home. Chinese media reported the woman tried explaining that she had recently lost her phone and she intended to buy another one, but was put off by the high price of a brand new iPhone 14 Plus, and she couldn't afford to spend 7,000 yen or $900 on a new phone, so she decided to steal it instead. She now faces a prison sentence of three years and a 200,000 yen or $27,400 fine. Maybe it would have been better to just pay for the phone. Or here's an idea. Get a cheap smartphone. They do exist, you know. Find the link to the original news story as well as a video of the theft in the show notes. And find more strange, funny, or disturbing news on the Weird News and blog at WeirdDarkness.com. Each year, millions of deprived children in our country have to return to school without the latest technological gadgetry tethered to their pants. Just as generations past needed food, shelter, and clothing to sustain themselves, there's a newer crop of children who simply can't live without cell phones. Like, hi. So I was talking to Ashley, and she thinks that Chad is, like, so stuck up. Here at the Children Without Cell Phones Foundation, we give a voice to those who don't have one by saying, please don't let them return to school without looking cool. Hey, weirdos. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I post videos seven days a week. And while you're at it, spread the darkness by sharing this video with someone you know who loves all things strange and macabre. If you want to listen to the podcast, you can find it at WeirdDarkness.com slash listen.